<laughs> I don't know why I'm singing the Zelda song, guys. I don't care. Is it the Zelda song? I think it's the Link to the Past I was singing. You know, when you go to the pyramid thingy and the old Super Nintendo version of Zelda. Now I'm gonna get him for copyright flag. They're gonna be like, he's singing the Zelda song. Get him! Just kidding, guys. I don't think YouTube would get me copyrighted over that. Lol. I don't even know why I was singing it, to be honest. Guys, check it out. It's nearly done. That's right. It's not completely done. This thing is a beast. I have never in my life built something this big in Minecraft. Look at this thing. Look at it. Are you looking? It's pretty fantastic. Uh, the Onexian... What, what are we going to call this beast? Uh, I don't even know. It needs to be something cool, something flashy, something eye-catching. As you can see, it is very, very eye-catching. Guys, I cannot believe I actually finished this. Well, it's not finished. Spoilers. Uh, it looks finished, but I'm very, very proud of it, so I'm going to talk about it for hours. <laughs> no. Uh, there's still so much work to do on the inside. This it was a seven-hour build. Definitely would have been cool for, like, a let's build, but whatever. Look at this. Look at it underneath. I'm so proud with the way this thing looks. Uh, if there was any way I could make a spaceship, this would be it. I also like how the chunk textures load in and it looks like it's like charging a laser or something. Woo! Oh, hands down the greatest thing I've ever done. Oh, I ever built Minecraft in all these seven, eight years or however long it's been out. I can hear it now. People out there snickering. Oh, ha, ha, that's the best thing you ever built. That's so funny. I just finished building a replica model of the Titanic on my server. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> I tried so hard. That was seven hours. Look at all this stuff, though. This is cool. Look how big it is, guys. That's absolutely crazy. Let's turn on my uh, movement speed. Uh, so yeah, seven hours. It took a bit longer to build than I thought. It looks kind of like a spaceship. It still needs some revamping. This thing is massive. It is literally like my platform in size. Like, this is crazy. I expected it to be like half this size once upon a time, but nope. Why not go out? Uh, spoilers, it's not completely done. I wasn't kidding about that. I don't know what to do about the back end. I put my face on it. Also, we don't have engines yet or thrusters. We can't possibly propel endlessly through space if we don't have thrusters on a ship. I don't know how to make them. I literally spent like a solid hour building and then I tore it all down and then I tried something else. I'm running out of ideas, guys. I don't know how to build the thrusters. And they need to be like, probably like this going out. Plus I made them a weird shape because I got this little dent here. And so they're like lying on the side. So maybe what I could do is I could just fence this off or bring it out a little bit and this would be a thruster and it would be a rectangular thruster. I don't know. I'm sure I'll think of something. I experimented with the fans. I'm not sure that I like them because it's not very authentic. You know, you're in space. I don't think you want a fan in your window sucking out the air. <laughs> I don't think you want a fan sucking the air from the outside in either. Uh, I'm pretty sure the fan is a very fatal flaw. I got this little window set up, the dark glass. Oh, it's so nice, isn't it? Oh, I'm so proud of this. Suck it in, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love how it turned out. Oh, it's fantastic. Shoot. I've never built anything this cool in my life. Uh, the front of the ship is pretty much decked out now. Like, it's all the way across. I have grass. I have a single ocelot. Oh, my God. Should that be the name of my ship? The Onexian Ocelot. Is that pronounced right? I know it means cat. Is it Ocelot? How you pronounce your name? Ocelot. I'll call you an ocelot, but that's... Do I want to name my ship after an animal? Uh, I originally built the ship kind of thinking of another ship in X3. And naming after animals is another race's uh, thing. And this doesn't look anything like it. They're called the Split Faction. And they name their ship like the the Dragon, the Tiger, the Panther, the Ocelot. You know, after animals. Uh, they have very weak shields but high firepower. This doesn't look like one of theirs. Their ships are red. Mine's black and green. If anything, this looks like the Argon Faction. Uh, the Mandalay is what I was kind of wanting to build this after. God, this is cool. I've never built anything like this in my life. It's funny how I thought like the immersive ending was going to be my final destination. Look at this. Uh, here's me trying to mark it out. Like I think this is going to be two floors. I was going to build three floors, but it kind of came out complicated. Also, I'll probably change this to dark glass too so I could actually see outside onto the command bridge. Also, I would really like to get some like doors leading outside like airlocks maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Instead of using regular doors on the ship, once I get it sectioned off, I'll have airlocks. Or should I leave it open like this? Uh, it's very nice open. But if I had a floor here, 
Like this would be the command bridge. It'll go across here. Uh, this would be. This what? Oh, you know what? This is. Oh man, that's perfect. This could be like the debriefing room. You know, with the table thing set up. Uh, it could be right here. It could have my chair set up. It could have like a map of the planet I'm going to. Uh, can I make a big map? I don't know. Uh, I could try. I think I've seen pictures to where. You know what I could do? Do I have any paintings? No. They're all in a chest somewhere. There's that big picture uh, of Minecraft or whatever. Or maybe I could get like a real time scanner. I've seen it in mod packs where it like scans the world real time and it makes like a digital image, which is pretty dang crazy. I don't, I definitely think that's a mod. Like it has to be because obviously it isn't in vanilla. Uh, so this would be like my little command hub. I'll be looking out. I was going to build it taller, but it started looking kind of funny. I got my big smug face right there staring at me. How are you, sir? Uh, I can't decide if I want to finish out the walls with, like, the wedges or not. Like, I could finish all the way around. I also hate these chandeliers. But, spoilers, creepers spawn many a times. It's probably still... No, actually, I said it's a peaceful few times. Uh, so, eventually, I just placed a bunch of chandeliers. They look very, very unimmersive. <laughs> Spaceships don't have chandeliers. What the freak? <laughs> oh, I love this. This is so cool. This is easily the best thing I've ever built in my entire Minecraft life. Unfortunately, uploading this thing using RF tools and teleporting it to another dimension is probably going to be a lot of trouble. Uh, also, I don't think I tried carpenter wedges, so unfortunately, uh, I think our ship might actually be stuck here. Oh, this is so cool. So when I get room set up, I don't know. This will be a floor... This will be a room. I don't even know what to make this. Like, this is just so much. I need, like, a smeltery room. Obviously, this will be, like, my farm room. Uh, I need, like, a smeltery room. I think I will use immersive engineering machines. They'll be big. I'll have a... No. Spacey. Space. Let's keep it future techie. Well, never mind. They are kind of future techie, aren't they? I wouldn't mind having that big multi-block smelty thing. That's pretty future techie. Very high tech. Very awesome looking. Uh, I guess I could bring the grinder too, and I could set up like a conveyor belt system, actually mashing my ores for me. So upstairs, the command room, I'll have computers. Are there computers in this mod pack? Is computer craft in this mod pack? Uh, no. So it's going to be very hard to get awesome computer screens up. Maybe I could download a mod just to get that done. You think so? Is there a mod that adds computer screens? I don't know. I know uh, Applied Energetics adds its own little thing uh, about computer screens. I should probably quit talking about this so much because there's still a lot of work to do. I can't decide if I want to fence it off. Like, should I make this one massive room? I really like it being open like this. In fact, I may actually just keep this open. Uh, it turned out looking way cooler than I thought. Why do I only have one cat? Why are you the only one kitty? I don't understand. Also, also, also. I love how it glows in the nighttime. These blocks kick out a natural, like, glow. They don't actually light up the area around it. But if we were to, like, you know, because this sissy rainbow, that's just not cutting it. But, man, if we set it to, like, time 1800 or something. Uh, wait. Time set. Oh, my God. Set 1800. Change it to night. See what I mean? Do you see what I mean? <laughs> that looks so good. It, like, glows. Unfortunately, the carpet block corners don't really glow. Also, I don't know about these, but I couldn't figure out a way to make it even, so whatever. They look like massive solar panels, don't they? Maybe I should. Maybe I should just flush it all out in green. That way they look like solar collectors. Ah, oh, there's still so much work to be done. I think it turned out okay. I think it turned out pretty dang good. If anything, I wish I would have left a gap there. Uh, I probably still can because the top looks kind of funny, but at the same time, it looks kind of cool, doesn't it? I try to give it as much like curvies and uh, very slick, jagged shapes, maybe some smoothness. It's like a nice combination. It's very nice out here. I want a door like right here. Like, can I make this happen? Where does this lead? Uh, oh, yeah. My hidden chandelier. I found it. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, look at that. It's the perfect height. Is it really? It is. That's perfect for a door. Yeah. I could do it. I could set a door leading outside. Oh, my God. Now, where did this go? I don't want creepers to spawn on my head. So, let's just put that back. Uh, let's just put that back. Uh, let's just put that back. <laughs> let's try that again. Uh, boop, 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 boop. So much work went into that. You don't know how long it took, guys, to get paneling. 
Now I can get my real turret set up. That way something does spawn. But bam Of course they'll be on high ground. Maybe I should put them two by two. Is there any massive weapon? Like, is there a massive laser cannon? You know what I could could do? I could get those uh lasers from a uh, up what was it mine factory loaded you know that's running in the end get like 20 of them set up and those would be like my orbital bombardment things like I press a button and it shoots a massive laser beam down and it destroys like the like the planet's surface or something I mean this is kind of space isn't it like if the moon wasn't there and everything else was here this would be like space so we could do like a little panoramic view like look it looks like it's flying through space doesn't it guys but it's actually not. I need to stop. Other YouTubers have made much cooler things than me. Uh, what should we name this thing? I don't understand. Onexian is kind of like my trademark. When I call something an Onexian brand, uh, it's going to be like my race, the Onexian race. Should I call it the Onexian Drake or the Onexian Ocelot? Or should I steal the name from another game? The Onexian Mandalay, the Onexian Cruiser? That would be very cliche. It needs to be something representative representative of the series what should it be called the representative alfheim i think it should be something to do with cats i'm gonna google different words for cats and i'm gonna name it no because cats are colorful this is black it needs to be something very very jagged uh, something cutting edge me what do you think we should call it i don't know honestly i really don't but i love how it sits off the port bay there oh yeah look at it it's literally the size of everything i've been busy I've been doing other stuff in between uh, kind of trying to get some things done since the platform is right here I was like you know what I've got a ton of this book done I mean look at all the stuff I've gotten done this is crazy and then I open up my hardcore quest mod book and then I had this quest done uh, right here and I was like oh look I completed a quest there's a noise I haven't heard in a while and then I was like solar flux that's annoying let's do that <laughs> Plus, it's a quest here to make three of these in the Twilight Forest. But then I started to make them, and then I realized why I quit. Screw that. You know how long it takes to make these? It is absolutely ridiculous. I got tier three, and I lost my mind, because these right here you have to put with, like, lapis. The next tier of these you have to use, like, clay. The next tier of these you have to use something else. And then you have to do these, and then you have to infuse the fusion flame. Screw that. I just made a ton of the level threes. Ugh! I'm never going to do that again. That mod is absolutely horrible. Uh, there, there's a life. I never thought I would see that again in like forever. I can't believe this thing is still going. I also made four of the runes to knock out two more quests to make myself feel better. Because as you know, uh, these runes themselves just take regular items that I already had in a chest a long time ago that I never did because it's a bunch of walking back and forth. So believe it or not, this quest is done. Uh, Botanial Garden? The runes of the seasons are done. The mana rune I already did a long time ago. The only thing left in this is like the hardest one ever. Oh my god, the seven deadly sin runes. I don't think I'll ever finish that one because it requires like the rune of seasons to make, which requires so much stuff. But that is the last quest in that chapter. At least I completed one, right? Oh my god. How close am I on this one? I could do this, I guess. Should we go to Uberus and try to find these guys? I flew around forever, though. I need to kill the tarantula. I need to kill whatever this is. It is strongly reprimanded that you are well equipped for this fight. Okay. It sounds like I need to go fight him because that's like a challenge. If it's in giant caps, it's basically saying, Oh, Nexus, come at me, bro. You thought the Ender Dragon or the Chaos Dragon was a challenge? Psh. Why are you guys spawning? Yeah, I'm looking at you, buddy. I don't have time for you and your shenanigans. Get off my platform or my skyblock. Whatever it is. Should I see what rewards we got? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Lava. <laughs> what a bunch of crap. What a bunch of crap, kitty cats. What a bunch of crap. I'm going to take you guys with me, don't worry. You're all going to help me on my next series. So maybe we could pretend. Let's roleplay that I made the tier 6. Uh, because I will never ever make those because it's the like the most ridiculous thing like what is it one two three four five six so this is a tier six dang it this is a tier six uh, you need like resonant ender cells you need resonant stones those have to be infused you need these you need these you need these you need that glass you have to infuse the glass screw that noise let's just RP 
Pretend I made 32 of the tier 6 ones. Let's go to the Twilight Forest. Let's put them down. Let's get a freaking energy cell. Oh boy, why would you have me put solar panels in the Twilight Forest? Uh, only Notch knows because there's no freaking sun here, really. Why would you have me do this? Why? There's no sun. It's permanently twilight. Let's put solar panels in the twilight forest. Does this make a big battery? No. Unfortunately, it does not form multi-blocks. Or maybe it has to be the same size. No, screw that. I like solar power as much as the next guy, but that's dumb. Uh, and then we could do this. I feel like this is cheating, though. I can't knock this off the list. It's just not, it's just not right, is it? Uh, yeah, shoot. I really wanted to just to say, hey, look, I completed another one. But uh, luckily, I can't because I don't think I brought any cables with me to actually say, hey, look, I finished one. Uh, I really don't have any energy cables. I probably left them all back on the platform. Well, whatever. Here, we could just set it on top. <sighs> look, it's receiving power. I did it. Woo, knock it off the list. I wish there was a way to put an X next to it. No, because it wants tier 6. If you made tier 6 or you made the tier 9s, good freaking job because you're absolutely insane. I'll tell you what we can do, actually. <laughs> you ready for this? I hope you are. Uh, <laughs> so many quests are being done. Do I have a hoe? No. Do I have the disassembler? No. Do I have gold? Why, yes. Yes, you do. Do I have sticks? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Uh, where are my sticks going? Like, why are they disappearing? Do I have ender lilies? <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wait. I did make an ender. No, that was something else. Uh, where's my... I needed to make that portable crafting table. I don't know. That's one of the reasons I can't wait to get a new series. Because, guys, I want to test out all this new helpful sweet advice I've been being told. I have decided, by the way. Oh, yeah. By the way. Uh, no wait, it's not working. There we go. <laughs> the Ender Lily farm is done. <laughs> and you can't judge me on that one because it doesn't specify how big the farm needs to be. Screw those things. Uh, I will actually keep the runes because those things require a small miracle of my patience to make. Holy crap. Oh, look, I had some hearts in here. No, I'm at max. I'm pretty much invincible at this port, port uh, point in time. There, my ender lily farm is done. Look at it, they're already growing. <laughs> Do they hurt you when you step on them? No. Well, fantastic. Ender lily farm, done. Anyway, I've decided on the mod pack, guys. I'm going to play Infinity uh, Expert Mode. It looked to be one of the things where I could play anything. I was going to do the next big thing, but it's a popular mod pack. I asked my friends about it, and they're like, it's not quite a kitchen sink mod pack because it's missing some like big ones. But there's enough in there to where I could definitely make a series out of it. I could do whatever I want to do. I could farm. Unfortunately, I think Magical Crops isn't one of them, but that's okay. Uh, it's a new pack. I could Once I get my spaceship up and going, uh, we could fly to a new world. We could get it going. Uh, we could start fresh, start new uh, with my spaceship orbiting high above. We'll beam down to the planet. We'll start a new series. It just sounds like a lot of fun, expert mode. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of Greg Tech, like I said back in the past, but I guess I'll find out how the series turns out. It may be total rubbish, I don't know, but my friends seemed to like the pack. They said there was a lot to do. Uh, I've watched some other YouTubers while I was building this thing, and they seemed to have a lot of fun in the mod pack, so I'm actually looking forward to it. It's not a hardcore quest mod pack, but I will use this right here. If it's not in that mod pack, but I think it is, I will definitely add it so I could get a list you know, of all the different things people want me to do. Maybe I could write a book. Is there something else I could do? Like, is there something else? Oh, you know what? I could... No, wait. No. I was going to say I could make my own, like, achievement book, but I really can't, can I? Because these are, like, programmed. I guess I could, actually. Uh... Yeah, why not? I could actually probably edit this myself, like go into the game and actually make my own quest book, like my own challenges. Uh, there'll be a lot of what I have here, like to make a farm, to get like in-game power, to get like A2 up and running or something. There's Thomecraft, so I could do a little bit of magic, get like a wizard's tower or something set up. 
Is ours magic in it? You know what? I may actually add a few mods, guys. Would that upset anyone terribly? Uh, ours magica, I heard, is pretty cool. It adds new ore, though. That may screw up with the ore gen. I'll have to see and test it. Uh, but I would like Ars Magica because I would like to do kind of like a mage playthrough or something. I've never done that before. Uh, I don't know if it's possible or not. Be like a, what would you call that? Someone that combines magic and technology. Techno mage or something? Techo mage? Uh, would it be called a technophiliac if you're like a necromancer slash mage? I could be like a blood mage. Is blood magic in that mod? I don't know, guys. I really don't know. Well, shoot. What else is there to do then? I mean, I still got the big reactor. I guess we could actually start adding on to that down below. Uh, it says fill deep storage. Once I get the ship completely finished, we could start fleshing out the inside. I guess I could bring over stuff right now from the immersive base. Uh, no, because I need to get the floors done, don't I? Well, sugar, guys. Absolute sugar. Alright guys, but I think that's enough for today. I've wasted enough of your wonderful, wonderful time. This has already been like 20 minutes. This is more of like an update than an actual quest pack day. I mean, I got the ship kind of done. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll do a quick overview when this thing is done. But for the most part, it's finished. This is probably how it's going to look on the outside. Because uh, we need to get going. We need to get this thing fired up. We need to take off in a major way. We need to go exploring the cosmos. Uh, hopefully the next pack doesn't let us all down. I feel like this is the beginning of something big. This is the greatest thing I've ever built. Uh, I'm very, very proud of this. I'm literally going to save it to my computer and never, ever delete it. And maybe I could import it to my future saves, too. Because as long as it has chisels, I could probably copy-paste it and bring it over. Oh, wouldn't that be great? I still like my mask. Maybe my next skin. I need to update my skin. Have you guys seen my skin? It's absolutely crap. Uh, I made this skin like... Oh, I don't know. Heck, it's been like five years ago since I made this skin. I kind of want to go like old Link style or like a Ranger or something. It turned out okay, but it looks kind of crap because the dagger. Uh, the newer versions of Minecraft, there's like an overlay you could add to your skin. And it would have looked much better without it because everything's like 3D-ish. Uh, it doesn't look too bad though. I think I need to add a bit more detail like to my boots or something. Uh, because I look kind of silly, don't I? Uh, whatever, guys. Oh. I can still fly. That's good, because I almost ran and jumped off my platform. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all next time. Hopefully within the next few days, we can get this thing done. Or at least, maybe, I could get the inside done tonight. That way, we could start moving some things over and getting the final countdown started and ready to go. Thank you for watching, and take care.